guys, it's Melanie, and for Vlogmas today, I'm going to share with you my favorite cruelty-free cleaners for use around the house. As most of you guys know, I decided to go cruelty-free with as many things in my life as I can. It started with makeup, and then it was just a very easy transition to actually um, start doing that with my cleaning product as well. Now, I didn't automatically throw away everything that I had that didn't come from like cruelty free companies. I don't want to be wasteful. So there's still some things that I'm kind of like cycling through that um, I'm going to use until they're done and then obviously not repurchase. But when I first started getting into this, I definitely started like testing a bunch of cleaners and found some things that work really well and actually in some cases work better than like the much harsher um, products that I was using before and that didn't come from cruelty free companies. So even if you are someone who isn't focused on like a cruelty free lifestyle, I feel like a lot of these cleaning products actually do work better and some of them you can totally make yourself and they're super super easy so I'm gonna go ahead and just start sharing with you guys what I do so I'm gonna start with what I do to clean my floors um, we have tile floors in our upstairs bathrooms and then downstairs right now we have pergo that we're going to be replacing soon but what I use to clean my floors is a steam mop. I have one from Bissell. I will link the one that I have down below. Basically, it just cleans the floors with steam. So there are no chemicals required at all. I started getting into using a steam mop after I had Stella because I knew she was going to be crawling around on the floor. And I honestly didn't want there to be a bunch of like chemicals left behind. For her to like potentially ingest somehow so um, that was a transition that I made quite a while ago and the steam mop has served me really well it's very easy to use afterwards you just take off the little chamois on the bottom and just throw it into your washing machine wash it with a load of laundry and it's good to go so that's all that I do for my floors if there is like a stubborn stain that I need to get up I will basically just use one of the cleaners that I'm going to show you here to like pre-treat that area a little bit and then go over it with a steam mop and like usually 10 times out of 10 that cleans it up so um that's what i do for my floors let's talk about how i clean my windows the one thing that i discovered that works like a dream literally better than like any other windex or like glass cleaning product that i've ever tried is just vinegar and water <laughs> I actually make it myself obviously it's super inexpensive and I just reused um, another spray bottle that I already had that I was finished with rather than going out and buying one and the ratio that I really like is um, by the way this is how I buy my vinegar now <laughs> um, this huge thing of vinegar cost me less than five dollars at my local grocery outlet so this is very economical but the ratio that I find works best is half distilled water and half vinegar. That's it, just mix it up. Some people like to use a little bit more water than they do vinegar, but I find that the half and half works, uh, ratio works really well for me. So that is what I use to clean all of the windows in my house. This is also what I use on my stainless steel appliances. Now on the appliances, I will use just a really soft cloth instead of a paper towel. On the windows, I usually just use paper towels but it works so well you guys if you're worried about the vinegar smell um certainly after you first spray it you're gonna you're gonna smell vinegar like it's gonna smell like you're washing your windows with a salad dressing but that dissipates extremely quickly and in no way has anyone ever walked into my house and said your house smells like vinegar Never. The smell dissipates extremely quickly. In fact, vinegar is actually known to um, help absorb bad odors and it just sort of helps them like dissipate. I don't know the science behind it. I do know that it works and it works beautifully at cleaning windows and cleaning stainless steel. Um, you know, when you're doing the stainless steel, definitely go like with the grain instead of like circular motions. Um, it takes just, you know, an extra wipe afterwards to make sure that you have all of the solution off, but it works beautifully. All of Stella's little handprints on both the windows and the stainless steel, gone. So again, my ratio is half vinegar, half water. 
Let's stay with the vinegar because I also use that for a couple of other cleaning things in my house. Let's move to the toilets. My favorite new way to clean the toilets is to pour in some baking soda. Again, readily available, super inexpensive. I'm actually buying it in like the huge like containers now. Um, this one I just happened to finish up recently. So what I will do is pour um, a, probably a, what would be the equivalent of like a half a cup into the toilet and then I pour vinegar on top of that. I know it sounds weird, but it causes a reaction where everything foams up and that helps to break up any like buildup that you have on the toilet. And then I just go in with my brush and I scrub everything, flush it, and it's good to go. It works perfectly. So, so perfectly. Baking soda is also something that I use pretty regularly because I have a glass stove top and um, you know when things splatter sometimes they can get baked on there like during the cooking process. If I just use a little bit of this with like a soft cloth and some water it breaks up any of that stuff that is stuck to there. Sometimes it takes a little bit of elbow, elbow grease but if you just pour a little bit of the vinegar and water solution um, on there first to start to help loosen things up then just go over it with this works beautifully Takes a little while to clean up, but it's a little bit more natural than some of the other stovetop cleaners that I've tried in the past and honestly it works just as good. So There you go. By the way, I also use this vinegar and water solution on my glass shower doors I don't know. I thought I'd mention it just in case <laughs> You guys have glass shower doors. I know most people probably have like, you know, the curtains, but in our master bathroom, we do have the glass shower doors, and this works to break up like the hard water on there very easily. You just pre-treat it, let it kind of soak for a little bit, and then go in and like really like buff it out, and it works beautifully. Another thing you can do if you have really hard water stains that are stubborn, again, go in and use um, a little bit of baking soda on um, just like a sponge or something and work it in. It doesn't scratch the glass, but if you do have that expensive protecting coating on there that's supposed to help prevent the soap scum from sticking, like you can probably scrub that away. Um, but I mean, we don't have that on our glass shower door and we do have hard water, so I have to use this from time to time if I haven't been diligent <laughs> and at least cleaning the glass shower doors once a week. If I do it once a week, I don't need to do that because this works just fine for like the everyday kind of cleanup. Okay, since we're in the bathroom, we talked about the toilets. To clean like around the toilet, you know, like the seat and then like my countertops and everything else in the bathroom, the faucets, uh, I really love Method. Method is an amazing line. They're completely cruelty free. You can find Method at Target pretty readily. You can also find it on lots of like websites like Vitacost. Um, I'll try to link everything that I'm showing you down below, um, some of the different places where you can get it, but Target is where I usually pick up most of my Method products. The Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner in Spearmint is fantastic. So this works on bathroom surfaces, sinks and fixtures, tubs, glaze, tile, and toilet seats. So they kind of tell you like what the ideal use is. Um, this is an antibacterial. So to disinfect, you do want to leave this sitting on your surfaces for at least 10 minutes to get that disinfecting. Um, oftentimes, usually after five, I will go ahead and wipe and it works really great. It gets soap scum off of like the faucets. Just, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> we have quartz countertops in both of our bathrooms upstairs and it hasn't harmed the quartz in any kind of way. It's really easy to wipe up and just works beautifully. So the Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner is a huge hit for me. And um, I also use this on our shower floor and our tile in our, in our bathroom, um, in our shower <laughs> and bathtub as well. This works great to clean up Stella's bathtub, gets rid of soap scum. Again, you just leave it sitting for a little while. It's fantastic. And again, Method is completely cruelty free. And actually, none of this stuff is any more expensive than like the Clorox or, um, you know, some of the other things that I was using before. Like, it's really not much more expensive at all. And I find that Method oftentimes, especially with the Cartwheel app, has like 5 to 10% off. So make sure you check um, the Cartwheel app to see if you can get discounts on this. Did I just 
something came flying off. <laughs> I do keep this in my shower, so it's probably wet from that. Okay, so that's the bathroom. Let's go back to the kitchen. In the kitchen, I really like to use the Method All-Purpose Cleaners. These are really nice. This is one of the limited edition ones in um, pomegranate. And the Method stuff, they're basically naturally de derived cleaners. So they're not as harsh. They actually smell really good. They use like essential oils and stuff to fragrance the, the product. Um, it's just, this works great, you guys. I use it on my kitchen counters. I use it in the sink. Um, the stove, like inside of the fridge when I clean out the fridge. This one, like I said, is the pomegranate. They have lots of different fragrances to choose from, but just the all-purpose one is great for the kitchen area. Another one that I really, really like is actually the Myers. Myers is also cruelty-free, and um, I like the seasonal scents that they come out with, especially the cranberry. So normally I will pick up at least a couple of these cranberry scents. I can get the Myers at both Target and New Seasons in my area. Uh, but again, you can also order it online from Vitacost. So this cranberry scent is one that I crave year round. <laughs> so I will usually buy a few of them so I can have them throughout the year. The smell is just amazing, but they have lots of other more like herbally or natural type scents as well. Uh, I use this the same way that I use the all-purpose cleaner from Method. So this is what I use to wipe down my kitchen counters, sinks, stove, all of that stuff. The dish soap that I really like is the Method dish soap. These are great. They have a pump. They're super easy. Works great. Um, works just as great as Dawn or Palm Olive or any of those other ones that I've used in the past in terms of dish soap. So. And again, not much more expensive, plus I love the convenience of the pump. So Method really is a great line to try. I think you should check into it. Uh, let's see here. I think that covers most of like the basic stuff. Let's talk about how I take care of like dusting and furniture. Method also makes a wood cleaner. <laughs> I do have a lot of wood in my house, a lot of wood furniture, and the Method Wood for Good Daily Clean in the almond scent is amazing. So this cleans grease, grime, and it leaves a light shine. Plus it smells amazing. It literally smells like an almond cream type scent. But this, this is amazing. This is nothing like that pledge that leaves everything like greasy and attracts more dust in the end. It cleans everything and then it leaves a really light shine that, you know, like you can touch the table afterwards and it doesn't, that greasy feeling that I always got with like the pledge or the Murphy's oil soap, stuff like that. This does not do that at all. And again, it's a much more natural approach. I feel a lot more comfortable using this around Stella. So you can use this on tables, um, like uh, shelves, uh, like china hutches, all of that kind of stuff. You want to be careful not to get it on glass because you'll have to go in and like with your vinegar and water solution to get kind of that light um, shine off of your glass that this leaves on the wood. Again, it's not greasy, but you know, it's, this is not intended to be a glass cleaner at all, but I love it. I absolutely think it's amazing. And again, it's actually not much more expensive than the pledge or the Murphy's oil soap. Last thing I want to talk about is laundry detergent. I did not bring my laundry detergent up because I have a huge like container that I buy at Costco. So the laundry detergent that I prefer is the Ecos brand. I will list it down below for you so you know what to look for. Again, it's available at Costco, but you can also order it online from Vitacost. If you can't tell, I kind of love Vitacost. <laughs> but um, they have pretty good sizes on Vitacost and you use so little of it and it works great for my clothes, Craig's clothes, and Stella's clothes. Craig has a job where um, he gets pretty dirty at work every day and that laundry detergent like works beautifully on his clothes. I just wash his clothes in like hot water whereas with Stella and mine I will usually wash them in cold water. Works great in hot water cycles as well 
as cold water cycles. It gets everything beautifully clean. It has a light, really light fragrance to it that doesn't actually irritate my skin the way that some other laundry detergents have in the past. I used to have to use like the free and clear laundry detergents because like I would literally like just break out like in hives from like the overly fragranced laundry detergents that I was using. This one is really light, really pleasant. Um, it's also made kind of locally to where I'm at, so I kind of like that approach. Another one I would really recommend trying that I've tried in the past that also works really well is the seventh generation laundry cleaners. I will link those down below for you as well. You can find seventh generation at Costco as well as at Target. So if you're looking for it in store, that's where you'll find it. Um, I don't know. All of this stuff has just been working really great for me, you guys. I don't think I will ever go back to using anything else other than the stuff that I've shown you here because like I said it's just as affordable as what I was using before and in most cases actually it's even way cheaper. <laughs> I get so much use out of just this one jug of vinegar. Now you do have to get like the white um, distilled vinegar like you don't want to use like apple cider vinegar or anything like that just get the plain white cheap like white vinegar it can be your store brand whatever as long as it's plain white vinegar it works beautifully for cleaning a ton of things and baking soda I mean really truthfully like you could probably do the vast majority of your house with just these two things and it works beautifully I know there are tons and tons of other recipes out there for DIY cleaners and I'm not that into like making my own stuff you know this just is super convenient so I do this but you can certainly look up a ton of recipes for DIY like laundry soap um, countertop cleaners toilet cleaners all of that stuff so if you're so inclined the information is out there for me convenience kind of wins out in terms of like just being able to pick this stuff up at Costco or Target but works great so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Leave me any questions down below. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.